everyone! Today's DIY video is how to turn a cheap costume wig into an elegant work of art. Although it's not necessary, I recommend having a mannequin head to place the wig on. You can find these at most craft stores for under $10. And of course, you will need your wig. This is a wig I bought a few years ago thinking it would be perfect, but like most cheap costume wigs, it wasn't as nice as the picture on the package. Also, like most cheap wigs, the hair is not very good quality. As you can see, there are gaps and the lace cap can be seen. Also, the curls are very ratted and not as perfect as the picture. Make sure to keep the wig net that the wig comes in. We will use this to help build up the wig. This wig also had strands of long curls that completely fell out, but for this updo, these will be perfect to build it up. Take a teasing comb and tease the loose strands of hair. The more hair and the bigger you make it, the better it will be for building the wig. Now take the teased hair and wrap it in the wig net. Now we have created a rat's nest that will help to build up the wig and support the hair. Now place the rat's nest in the center of the wig slightly forward. Once we pile and arrange the hair around the nest, it'll tend to slip backwards. Now you will want a lot of bobby pins, and I'm not joking, you will probably want about three packs. For this specific updo, I'm using bobby pins because I don't want this to be a permanent style in case I want to repurpose this wig at a later time. If you are looking for more permanent updo, I recommend using sewing thread that matches the color of your wig and sewing the hair to the lace cap. Using your bobby pins or sewing thread, secure the rat's nest all the way around. If you are using pins, stick the pins through the hair and weave it through the lace cap. You will want to make sure this is completely secure because it is the base for the updo. Now that you have the rat's nest secure, start taking strands of hair and pin it around the rat's nest. Take your time and plan out what pieces you want to pin up and what pieces you want to leave down. This will take the most time and you might have to start over a few times. I didn't get the style down my first time. Take note of how to place the pieces as to cover other bobby pins and to hide any gaps. After I have pinned the hair down into place, I'm going to style the bangs to my liking. I took the full bangs and turned them into a side bang to match the way I part my hair. Also the hair is made from plastic fibers and it can look very shiny. An easy way to fix this is to take a translucent powder and lightly mat down the shine. Now just adjust any curls that look out of place or frizzy. And this is the finished style. If you want, you can accessorize as little or as much as you want. My wig was inspired by Marie Antoinette. You should also take into consideration the style of your costume. Do you want to go for an over-the-top glamorous look or maybe a dark gothy spin? And of course, you can always go for a very historically accurate style. This is just an example of my gothy spin using silk roses, little blackbirds, dark feathers, black clip-in extensions, and a very out there look by using a strip of black fringe as a birdcage veil.
And if gothy isn't your style or the look you're going for, try girly and glamorous. I used big bright feathers, pale pink silk flowers, and a lot of brightly colored clip and extensions. You can even use colored hairspray and add colorful accents, although I wouldn't recommend this all over the wig because it can be messy and it rubs off on your hands easily. And if gothy and girly just don't work with your costume, this also looks amazing and elegant without the accessories. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.